now that I'm old, gray, and out of shape, being a college football fan means 12, or with a little luck, 13 days where you've really got something happening, game day. And then you've got 350-something days of anticipation. Right now it's recruiting season. And that gives us a little something to get us through from spring camp to fall camp. West Virginia has signed a streak of pretty good looking players. And that's something to get excited about. Something to argue about on the boards. The thing is now with recruiting, you can know who West Virginia is looking at, who they've made offers to, and then you find out pretty darn quickly when somebody commits. And you can look and you can see what rating they've got from at least three different sources. And you can look at what other schools have made offers and then it gets into this question of well what difference does it make because with all this information we get to play with now it still comes down to the same thing it did when I was a kid and didn't know diddly about who had joined the team what are they going to do on game day, which may not be this year, may not be next year. We got to see how those recruits do. Are they going to sign? Are they going to stay signed? Are they going to hang around for three, four, five years? We don't know. We never know. We didn't know before. The portal does change things but it hasn't changed the basics. It's fun, it's talk, it can be a good conversation, or it can be quite a fight. But the truth is, whether a recruit has a bunch of Power 5 offers before they commit to West Virginia, or they don't, that really doesn't tell you anything about how good they're going to be. But right now you go to the boards and every time we get a commit somebody's got to make fun of what schools have offered them. Because that's what they want to do. Not because they like to think about it. Not because they care about West Virginia football. They like to make fun of things. They probably always have. If we could dig up some of their childhood friends, we might find out. You may remember a guy named C.J. Donaldson. And he was not a highly sought recruit for a good bit of his high school career. I do believe West Virginia was the first Power 5 offer he got. And that stuck with him. It's one of the reasons he stayed loyal to West Virginia when other teams came around and somebody was offering NIL money. He said, hey, West Virginia believed in me when they didn't, and he's going to believe in West Virginia. Well, it turned out, we may not know how good a tight end he was, though that's how he was being recruited, but Neil Brown and Chad Scott looked at him in camp and said, dang, we've got a running back. Well, the rest is history, even if it's a so far brief history. Donaldson went running right through everybody he faced, 
And other, other teams had already come calling because just because a player commits to a school doesn't mean other schools stop recruiting. And Donaldson did get other Power 5 offers. We probably will never know just what offers he got after last season. Uh, we, or what schools they came from directly or indirectly. Uh, some of them were probably not especially ethical. Luckily, luckily, Country Roads Trust had money in place by that point and was able to give Donaldson a reason in addition to loyalty to stay. And we're glad he did. Now, if I want to go back to those boards, and I might just do that, look back at what people were saying when Donaldson committed. But now, if you really want to, if you care, you can dig deeper into the recruiting, though you usually have to pay to join one of the services. And you can find out, you know, more things like not just who has offered yet, but who's been looking. You can read reports by people who may have a clue what coaches are, have said. You can get in, well, you can get in over your head, to be honest, because most of us don't really know what to do with this information. It depends a whole lot on trust. And of course, the coaches are not looking at these ratings, and they don't much give a crap what other schools have offered. They're looking at the player. They're looking at as much film as they can, and they're looking at them in person when they can. And I do believe that most of the coaches do know a whole lot more about what they're doing and how to judge these players than we do. But it's fun. It's fun to look at those record, re, <laughs> recruiting reports, to look at who has committed, who might commit, who might, <laughs> might commit. And some would say when it comes to being committed, I should be on the list. But try not to take it too seriously. It's recruiting season. It's fun to talk about. And it's a neat tool if you use it within its limits. Maybe you will know a little bit more about the coming season. Maybe you won't. But at least it's a reminder that the season is coming and we've got something to talk about until the Penn State game. And then we'll find some other subjects, I do suppose. This has been West Virginia Football Going Deep. Thanks for listening. I hope you will like the video, subscribe, comment, tell your friends. You know, I do like to talk, so I appreciate you coming around. So long.